Good day, Rescue Ninjas. I have done right, because it's time for the 4 chair analysis. Right, guys, over the past few weeks, I've kind of made a bit of a change for this video. Basically, we care more about trying to identify, with some comparisons to previous weeks, how much will each of these skins potentially reach by next Thursday, when the rust door rotates. And then we'll sit there and say, knowing how much these are likely going to sell, are these skins still holding up to being perfectly fine investments? So let's jump in. The first 24 hours of sales, looking at all of these skins, we're still seeing that trend where, well, overall, they're just not selling as much. It's going down and down and down. The top selling skin, for example, is the Neon Oil Rig Garage Door, 7,500 subscribers. Compare that to the previous weeks. The top selling skin sold more than 8,000. Uh-huh. We had two instances there. So that trend where less sales are happening overall, still happening, and there's a fairly decent answer for it. We talked about that last week. Kids are going back to school soon. They're probably just not feeling that inclined to want to buy skins, basically. All right. Over the course of the next three months, uh, oh, I've got homework. Oh, no, I can't play Rust that much anymore. Why would I want to spend my pocket money on skins at the moment? There you go. Also, you might want to consider that f with 13 skins, maybe some of these skins are just struggling to, you know, grab attention. <laughs> anyway, low sales isn't necessarily a problem for us, the investors. With less of these being available... As time goes on, if these skins do a decent job of retaining demand, and then we go through the likes of good times, post-Christmas 2025, the summer of 2025, well, all the better for these to rise up in price. Yes. All right. So there's a lot to discuss. We've had the likes of continuations with clothing and armor sets. Certain skins have sold surprisingly very little, but there's also certain reasons as to why. Well, let's jump over to here. Let's take a look at the 48 hours of sales. Now, I just want to bring this up. It's like two hours later, so it's 50 hours. But just look at all of these uh, subscriber counts. Drop them down by a few hundred subscribers, and you basically got the good idea of what 48 hours of sales were. All right, cool. So we're going to try our best to do some comparisons and figure out what will be the final sales when the Rustle rotates next Thursday. Let's take a look at the Neon Aura Rig Garage Door. So if you want to get a much better look at the likes of this skin, please consider watching my Rustle Rotation video. We give it a lovely little showcase. And of course, I must bring up that this is the third skin to be accepted in its collection. I, I won't count Moto Party. I'll only count these three. Neon Monuments. The sheet on the door, lighthouse, the dome, sh uh, double door right there. And of course, now we have the garage door. Very nice, very cool. On the horizon, can we anticipate a continuation? I would, but I just want to bring this up. Uh, Saddest, the skin creator, he took like two weeks to uh, get this out, uh, hey, if quality takes time, I'm not going to complain, but just take that into consideration. So, with the first 24 hours of sales, 7,500 subscribers. We don't really have anything that also did 7,500 subscribers, so maybe the best thing to compare to is straight up the double door from the same collection. All right, cool. So let's go over to here. Let's go back two weeks. How much did that sell after, well, you know, its tenure in the rust store? 18,700 subscribers. Okay, okay. So I think a very decent estimate would to sit here and say that the garage door is going to probably do between 16 to 18,000 subscribers. Yeah, all right. That's not too bad. But now let's also consider what's happening on the horizon. So as I look at all the garage doors this year, we've had 23 in total. We're about two thirds, 70% of the way through this year so far. And uh, look at all the more recent garage doors. Oh, more specifically the marketable ones down 16 down 11 down 42 down 39 down 54 down 67 down 59 and down 34 there's a lot of garage doors being added and of course very cool looking twitch drops that we'll have to take into consideration yeah there's more competition there's more problems like that uh i worry for it now potentially we might get another neon monument skin potentially on the horizon maybe soon maybe this monday maybe next week will it be accepted that certainly is up for debate, isn't it? So um, over the past year, or more specifically during 2024, we've had the likes of lots of deplorable collections getting started, but then stopping after two or three acceptances. Now, more recently, we had the likes of Ultramarine Collection actually managing to get a fourth skin accepted. Very nice. Will Neon Monuments follow suit? We shall see. But by default, I'm looking at the garage door. Oh, 16 to 18,000 subscribers. I think it's going to end up struggling. It's abnormal, though. At the very least, we have that. So, of course, next Wednesday, we'll look at the sales. We'll see if there's a continuation by then, and we'll consider what price we offer. Please look in the description of this video right now. You'll see a link to my Twitch. Every Wednesday night, around 9 p.m. UK time, I'll be on stream. We'll be discussing prices. We'll, go we'll be going through the routine with the likes of Abnormal. So, if you've never done it before, consider joining me then. 
awesome though. Right, so 16 to 18,000 subscribers, but still potential problems. And of course, maybe just maybe more Twitch drops. So as I hop over to here, you might notice with some of the newer skins that we see, there's this right here in front of us. Yep, September is going to have a an event, as you can see right here. It looks like we're having a Twitch Rivals Rust Base Invaders event between September 10 to September 11. It is expected that we are going to have Twitch drops. And uh, well, there you go. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Will there be a garage draw as well? So yeah, you can understand why I'm a bit cautious likes of that. So all right. We'll leave that for Wednesday when we approach all of that. Let's move on to the next skins. Commando, hoodie and pants. Right, so you're currently sitting here, 50 hours in, 9,579 subscribers, and fairly close to the same thing. Cool, 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 cool. So, Commando Collection, very nice to see it got a sequel. When these are accepted, Spy Command, Spy Command Price for the Tier 3 armor. It, ha it has dropped down a fair bit, which is quite unfortunate, but um, hey, it is what it is. But we do have to consider, with... All of these skins, will the hoodie and pants perfectly match up with its sales compared to these two skins here? Because with the likes of clothing and armor collections, there's a bit of a problem. Yes, the collection could be like in demand, but if like one group of skins, whether it's like hoodie and pants, tier two or tier three, if one of them sells far too much compared to the rest, well, that tends to be a, a bit of a problem, which can be perfectly showcased with the likes of the Abyss collection. So the Abyss collection overall, in demand did very nicely during the summer but with the clothing and armor it started off with a tier 3 armor now when that came out that did about 27 28,000 subscribers for both pieces but when we got the likes of the tier 2 and the hoodie and pants well all of these only did about 15,000 subscribers about half as much so that means there's so much more of the tier 3 armor in excess on the steam market on third party sites just just imagine this it's an in-demand collection. People want full sets of it. There's tons of the tier three to go around, but only so much of tier two and hoodie and pants. Does that make sense? So we could, in theory, only have up to about 15,000 true complete clothing and armor collections, but there'll still be another 12, 13,000 excess amount of tier three armor. <laughs> there you go. Now you understand. So looking back at the likes of this commando, at the moment, is everything holding up? Does it look okay? Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back over to here and do a quick comparison. So, first 24 hours of sales, 6,450 subscribers. 6,450 subscribers are now, remind myself, of the tier 3 armor, 7,766, 7,476. Huh. <laughs> back over to here. Why don't we also look at the likes of the 48 hours of sales as well? So, if I could look at over here, I should point out this was recorded slightly after 48 hours as well so i guess it's not too much of a problem 11,500 subscribers 11,100 subscribers back over to here yeah that is uh not exactly matching up to the momentum is it okay then so is that a problem for the hoodie pants no not really if it's selling less that actually it makes it look a lot more appealing yes now we should also consider this next week's rust store is expected to be an early rust store so this probably isn't going to have that much time to be able to catch up to the likes of these two. You're probably thinking, okay, should I jump in and buy the, into them? Well, there's still another problem. How many other blackout alternative options are there? Well, let me just kind of bring this to your attention. Kosen, the skin creator of the Commando set, also made Legacy Kevlar. And Legacy Kevlar had a problem where certain skins kind of sold a ridiculous amount, namely the hoodie and pants. 50 thousand subscribers each <laughs> that sold far too much compared to actual demand that is why the hoodie is currently sitting there at 73 cents and the pants are sitting there at 89 cents we are nowhere as bad in terms of ridiculous sales with the likes of these two these are going to be a lot more tamer and these are expected to do a much better job of retaining their value okay but if people were kind of what you know working with a strict budget wouldn't they just rather use those or pirate collection or Dragon Rage collection, or Training collection, or Black Gold collection, have I made the point? Also, we kind of have to accept that we might potentially still be seeing the likes of some Black Diamond skins on the horizon. Black Diamond hoodie and pants, tier two, huh? we'll still see, oh dear. <laughs> so, yeah, this could easily lose attention and then suffer because of it, but hey, at the very least, on the horizon, could we still see the likes of Commando tier two, or a version two of that, or boots and gloves, or a jacket? We shall see. We got one acceptance, one continuation. Surely there'll be more. You can only hope. But at the very least, 
this is looking like it's going to probably do 14 to 16,000 subscribers. Maybe it might be a little bit short. Maybe it might do a little bit better. We shall see. Maybe there's a lot of people simply waiting until next week or rather next Wednesday. They want to do their abnormal barters first, look at the support it has, then consider buying it. I won't be surprised. That's basically what a lot of people did last week with the likes of the Redemption Python. They waited until the last second. They wanted to see if it was going to do a decent job of retaining its value. And with the barders that we saw, yes, it did have a lot of barders going all the way up to $2.49. And they're still there. It still looks like it's going to do a decent job of retaining its value. But as more listings appear, oh, it's starting to go down. But will these barders help it out and stop it from dramatically going down? And then when times are good again, it flourishes and has a wonderful future. Time will tell. We shall see. So abnormal barders very useful advantage to have so smart thing to do wait until wednesday and then we'll approach it as i said i will be streaming 9 p.m wednesday night uk time we'll be approaching all the abnormals and figuring out prices for all of them but with that doing less sales it's looking more appealing for sure 14,000 to 16,000 subscribers is the estimate let's move on frozen crypto now you look cool as well i like this skin Especially as we're now delving into the likes of the winter months. It's going to get colder, sinister, dark at night. I mean, shut up, just move on. <laughs> I will hope to see more skins from this collection. I want to see a, a, a frozen crypt chair or throne. <laughs> uh, well, we technically already have. Shut up. Uh, a, a table, water purifier, nice ice cold. Oh, that's some uh, high quality H2O. <laughs> Moving on, anyway. Who knows what we'll see. But it's a sheet metal door. Or strong hedge. Uh, sheet metal doors in 2024. Come on, show it to me. Uh, 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 I fear it, but I must endure it. Uh, we've got to look at this chat because every single sheet metal door that came out so far this year is uh, down in price. <laughs> Quite badly, I should say. There will be more sheet metal doors for sure. Like so far this year, 27 acceptances. As I scroll down, how many did we get in total last year? 30. We still have... Uh, September, October, November, December. Oh, great. Huh. I love having a ridiculous amount of sheet metal doors to compare to. Yeah, we're going to have problems. So, uh, yeah, sheet metal doors, not reliable investments. But I will sit here and say this. Not every single skin has to be an investment. If you like it, treat yourself. Buy it, use it, enjoy it, support the skin creators, keep them nice and motivated, to keep wanting to put out nice creative designs. If you like what you see, support them. Simple as that. But if you're going to be smarter with your money, make, make, wait a week or two. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's sit here and uh, you know get a good idea of where the, that's likely going to end up at. So looking at the likes of the first 24 hours of sales, 6,178 subscribers. We could actually do a pretty... We could probably get a good idea of where that's going to end up at because the Python and the Sleeping Bag, they also did 6,000 subscribers after the first 24 hours of sales. And it's kind of funny, looking at both of them, you can see probably the maximum and the minimum of sales. 14,000 to 15,000. I think I'll bump that up to 16. So 14,000 to 16,000 subscribers is what I would estimate for the likes of the uh, crypt door. Cool, 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 cool. Right then, will you actually retain your value? Eh. And 15-ish uh, thousand subscribers isn't like a low amount. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes below its hostel price, but I'd like to see continuation. So keep an eye on the workshop at the very least. Right then, so back over to here. Let's now move on to the likes of Heavy Knight Tier 3 Armor. It's going to be a pretty easy thing to do comparisons with because literally the previous week we had the hoodie and pants. So with what we have here, Heavy Knight Face Mask did 5,950-ish subscribers after the first 24 hours of sales. Looking at the chest plate, oh, it's a bit of a drop-off, 5,550. Okay, now we're compared to like so of the hoodie and pants, 5,840 subscribers, 5,780 subscribers. Okay, that's fine. Can't complain about that, but let's also take a look at the previous week with the 48 hours of sales. I can see that the Heavy Knight hoodie... 8,500 subscribers almost, and the pants had 8,400 subscribers almost. When I look at the likes of the sales right now, well, hang on a minute, that face mask is doing a pretty good job. It's actually matched up to the hoodie and pants. That's nice to see. Chest plate, oh, what happened there? You dropped off 7,900. What's going on? Well, maybe it's because, it's because a lot of people prefer to use the jacket instead of the chest plate, I guess, maybe, possibly. Hey, we'll see. But at the very least, it does look like the tier three is going to match up the likes of the hoodie and pants here. 
I will sit here and say I expect it to be between 12 to 14,000 subscribers. I reckon the face mask potentially might push up to about 14,000 subscribers, but the chest plate probably doing about 12,000 subscribers. Hey, at least it's fairly close amongst all of each other. I mean, jacket's still a bit higher, but hey, it's fine. It's the first game to be accepted. On the horizon, will we see tier two being submitted? Will the boots and gloves be accepted? We shall see. We shall see. It's looking like it's looking more like it's going to end up like a Damascus set. You remember when we were making comparisons to all the other metallic sets we've had somewhat recently? Hard to Cyber, Damascus. Damascus is probably its future. Now, the first four skins, they lined up ever so nicely in terms of sales, but then the tier two, oh, that sold a little bit more. But as time went on, people liked the set. Everything worked out reasonably okay. Okay, fair enough. People seem to like Heavy Knight. It's doing all right. 12 to 14,000 subscribers for the tier three. Let's see how that turns out by the end. Right then, Ratatat Tat Thompson, 8,200 subscribers right now. Now, if I were to just quickly look at the likes of the first 24 hours of sales, it's over here, 5,500 subscribers. Is there anything we could compare to? Maybe the AK, 5,750? Yeah, it's close enough. Right then, let's go back over to here. Look at the previous week. Where did the AK end up at? It did 14,500 subscribers. So I guess we could probably estimate... 14 to 15,000 subscribers. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah, all right. So, with that amount of sales, is that ridiculous? Let's compare to all the other Thompsons, and I will sit here and verify that uh, it's kind of higher ish. Uh, as you can see, the Imperial Thompson did less, the Bombshell Thompson did less. Same uh, for likes of both of these. They did about 15,000 subscribers. This did slightly less. This did fairly less. This did fairly less. Yeah, so, okay. Looking at all the Thompsons here that came out in 2024. Uh, yeah, they're not doing very good, are they? Ooh, no. <laughs> well, that's only down by 10. And yeah, obviously this one's up by 8. But uh, down 37, down 40, down 34, down 29. Yeah, I think I probably will stick with doing a bilder. However, you know, will the goofy, cute little rat design be favoured, loved, adored? Will we, getting, will we be getting more rat -a tat tat skins? Or a cat-a-tat-tat -a -cat -a -tat -tat skin? <laughs> or a dog -a dog dog skin? I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. It's up to the skin traders. Keep it on a workshop. I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing some more rat theme skins very soon. And I'm pretty sure people will probably like the collection. The very bright pink nose will be enjoyed by many. All right. So, all right. We'll leave it at that. But that's not abnormal. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Wednesday night, we're just going to have to think about, all right, do we actually want to jump in just buy it straight or just still stick with Bilders? At the current moment, 15,000 subscribers. I do lean more towards I expect it to go below its roster price. So it will be a bother. As of now, we'll see if things change. Maybe it slows down. Maybe it doesn't sell too much over the course of the next few days. But um, yeah, it looks like it'll be doing between fourteen to 15,000 subscribers there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, moving on. Right then. So, ooh, this is not doing so well, is it? No, you're doing all right initially. And then you completely slowed down and you've been eclipsed by the eight, uh, the uh, Thompson. Huh. Well, that's a little bit awkward, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it is. So... This is a bit of a problem. Uh, immediately, I'll just point out that, you know, small box skins, how are they currently doing this year? Uh, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> now, we've had collections. Yeah, but even then, they haven't really held up very nicely. Small box skins, they, uh, yeah, maybe people just kind of remembered, ah, hang on a minute, I could just pro probably buy a dollar cheaper next week. That's two dollars right there. And yes, 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 yes. It lines up ever so perfectly with its little home under the workbenches. Yes, yes, yes. But... Is it going to retain value? I doubt it. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people probably realise that. Now, uh, in terms of like how close the sales are, the likes of these two, I reckon we could probably look at the likes of this and think it's going to probably be more similar to likes of the Heavy Knight. I think it's going to do twelve to 14,000 subscribers. Yeah. So, all right then. It still potentially might be quite a lot compared to the other small boxes. Look, by default, it's sitting here as an abnormal skin at $2.00. <laughs> I don't think it's retaining its price. I'm very sorry to say. So how you go about that with the information you just learned, it's up to you. But uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of faith, I'm afraid to say. So we'll leave that for the Abnormal Barders next Wednesday. Let's move on. Cell Bolt Action Rifle. Okay, so a quick comparison to the most recent uh, Bolt Action Rifle skin that was marketable. Junknaut Bar. Let's get a quick look at the likes of you. And as you can see... You did not sell that much, and you don't have that much on the Steam market, but look at the highest buy order in comparison to the lowest 
uh, listing and you can see there just really isn't that much demand for this skin unfortunately yeah it's very easy to notice i'm sure so will the same thing potentially happen to the likes of the cell bolt action rifle well i believe this isn't selling too much more specifically due to the fact that it's selling at three dollars Ooh, it's a bit pricey think of that but if we go over to here first 24 hours of sales only 3760 subscribers Ooh, can we do a quick comparison of anything we could probably go between the cargo heli vest and the gold chains road sign gloves mm, okay then let's go do that then let's go see where they ended up and let's get a good idea of what's the in-between so uh, cargo heli did get a little bit more attention towards the end but uh, yeah, that reached up to about 9,000 subscribers, uh, 9,500. This only did 8,000 subscribers. I think we could probably round it up and down 8,000 to 9,000 subscribers for the likes of the Cell Bolt Action Rifle. But uh, yeah, is it going to retain its price? I'm doubting it because I, I don't think the actual collection itself is in demand. Uh, yeah, we've also had some bolt action rifles given away for free as Twitch drops. Yeah, maybe we'll see more in the future. <laughs> so it's a bit awkward. But yeah, 8,000 to 9,000 subscribers is my estimate. Let's move on. All right, Rainbow Pony. Okay, this is interesting. You're really not selling that much. And that very likely could work out very nicely for it in the future in its favor so i have brought this up before we've had the likes of a bandana and that's been working out ever so nicely and with these skins being accepted it's risen up ever so nicely i should sell mine <laughs> right so will there be more hoodie and pants oh no 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 no. we already have those i meant to say burlap shirt and pants and hide shirt and pants uh, keep an eye on the workshop we'll see but uh, oh what about a disco mask oh my little ranger consider doing that that'd be really weird anyway so this is not abnormal, a bit unfortunate, but this is, and we can see what the support is for the likes of this and get a good idea if we want to approach that afterwards. So it's not too bad. Right, so looking at all the boonie hats, let's just take this into consideration. Eh, not every single one's doing perfectly fine, but yeah, it's not too bad. Overall, it seems to be a-okay. Looking at the sales for the first 24 hours of sales, we have the likes of 3,600. Oh, mate, it's yeah, 3,400. It's going to be very similar to the likes of the uh, Cell Bolt Action Rifle. Yeah, yeah, it looks very, very similar. You know what? I reckon I'll sit here and say for both of these, 7,500 to 8,500 subscribers. Yeah, so 7.5 to 8.5. That isn't that much. All the better for it to rise up in price in the future if this stays in demand. And of course, we do see primitive sequels. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Things are looking very interesting. I'm honestly considering, I actually might consider buying some of them. Yeah, that that feels really low. It does feel really low. Could it still go below its roster price once we reach around October time? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. It might only go down by like 10 pennies though. In the future, more specifically post-Christmas and the summertime, well, people might not realise that was accepted and suddenly want it. And then, yeah, you get to be a very colourful pony. In the early game, <laughs> I could understand a lot of people might like that. And of course, Rainbow Pony, proven to be quite successful with 28 skins now in its collection. All right. So, if you're not selling too much, it does look a lot more appealing. And of course, compare this to the likes of all the other ponchos. Compare that to all the other boonie hats. This is very colourful and standout compared to all the other skins here. And then with the boonie hats, let's just take one quick look again. And bright pink, blue, green, red, you know, everything. It's rainbow. Yeah, stands out very much so compared to all the other skins. You can pair it up with the bandana. Guys, I think it's got a pretty good future ahead of it. I'm interested. So with this, Abnormal Bard is first. We'll see what the demand looks like after that. And then we'll look at the uh, the boonie hat afterwards. And I kind of get the thing I might buy some. I'm motivated, I guess I could say. <laughs> awesome. Right, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled. It isn't expected to sell that much. And it's looking like it's going to have a very fun future ahead of it. Now we can move on to the likes of the Abyss Hunting Bow. Right, this was a funny old thing. I just got to point this out to you guys. Uh, you can't, well, you can do a bar for it because you can technically do it right now. What's this? What's going on? Why? Well, that's not the Abyss Hunting Bow. Well, technically it is because there was already an Abyss Bow in the past. And uh, if you weren't fully aware of all the details, well, I did make a video covering all of this. Here is my Abyss Bow situation. A win-win situation? Yeah, give this a good watch. You'll basically get all the details that you need to hear. Uh, but to give you a quick, um, you know, brief explanation, basically, uh, they accepted the Abyss Bow and they kept it 
with the name Abispo, but there was already an Abispo on the Steam market. It caused some complications. They changed it. But if you look up the likes of Abispo right now, you'll see there's two of them. There you go. So what basically happened is a new one had to be made. And there's a fairly decent chance that our brand new Abispo from the Abyss collection that we know and love and whatnot might actually replace the original listing or it takes place with the new listing. We're not 100% sure. Again, watch the YouTube video to get a better understanding as I explain everything, so I'm trying to be fast here. But uh, yeah, who knows? I can't even load it. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, there we go. Right, so yes, this has been around since like 2019, if I can recall. 2020, 2019, it is 2020, yep. And uh, previously, we've had the likes of the snake bite saw early this year. Uh, replace the green snake by saw it's again watch the video you understand everything but yeah both of these listings already have bilders now you can just insert yourself on the hunting bow one and uh you know put a bilder down if you so wish but you know the resolution or the conclusion with the video is that we've already got bilders above two dollars the price that this is selling for Hmm, that's looking pretty interesting, isn't it? But this guy could easily remove his bilder and then suddenly it's not so reliable, is it? So, yeah, please be aware. Whilst it looks like it's immediately going to be a wonderful success, uh, people could just remove bilders or they get dumped on so much that it disappears just like that. Cool, so we've understood that. We've got the idea. All right, cool. So that's technically already out. I've explained that. But what's the total sales going to be? Now, funnily enough, this has actually surpassed the cardboard door. You had a free hour head start and it's already beaten you. Anyway, with the first 24 hours of sales, we saw that this only did 2,600 subscribers. That is ridiculously low, but certainly not as low as the likes of the recycled hazmat bow, which only did 2,000 subscribers after the first 24 hours of sales. Right, well, maybe we could do an in-between with the likes of the hazmat bow and the quarantine tours because they only did 3,000 subscribers after the first 24 hours of sales. So let's go back two weeks, yes, 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 and let's go see how those skins ended up at with their total sales and get a good idea where the Abyss Bow might end up at. So with the pickaxe here, 7,000 subscribers, and with the recycled hazmat bow, 4,750 subscribers. Okay, so if we were to go about in between there, you're probably going to sit there and say, uh, <laughs> uh, you could probably sit there and say it's going to probably do around 6,000 subscribers. But with the recent momentum I've been seeing, and probably my video had a bit of an impact, um, I think this Abyss bow might be doing a little bit better than that. I think. So I'm going to sit here and say I expect between 6,000 to 9,000 subscribers. Yeah, it's a bit of a broad horizon there, but still, 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 still quite low. 6,000 to 9,000. Yeah, yeah. So let's just do a quick comparison. When you look at the likes of the Abyss collection, we've had two other weapons, the AK and the SAR. Now, please consider watching my predictions video where I explain it a lot better. But I am under the impression that both the SAR and the hunting bow will behave very similar to how the Abyss AK performed. During its initial release, it went down in price quite sharply. Sold for $3, went down to about $1.80, $1.90. But then after that, when good times happened, it went back up in price. Then Easter dip went back down. But during the likes of the summer, that has thrived. And out of all the AKs, all the ones that came out in the past two years, there's like four of them that are in the positive. That's one of them. That is quite surprising to see, but people like the Abyss collection. So, all right, cool, 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 cool. Let's just take one quick look at the likes of all the bow skins. And what do we see over the past two years? They haven't exactly been doing super great. <laughs> Similar situation. It's already technically marketable to a point. Uh, well, <laughs> it's already got like a head start. Will we... Oh, sorry, let me close that. Will this just work out all right? Will people not want to list theirs too much less than the likes of what we see here? I mean, it's definitely going to be a situation we talk about it on Wednesday again. Because on Wednesday, I believe that is when we'll see the actual Abyss picture being replaced and then this takes over and then suddenly the, listing, the, 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 the listings are looking like that. I lost my tongue there. <laughs> it's a bit all over the place, but yeah. Um bit of an awkward one but yeah 6,000 9,000 subscribers feels really low but for a hunting bow is that what's that going to be like let's just quickly compare subscriber counts and uh yeah if it was 6,000 to 9,000 we're going to go up a little bit oh it's going to end up in the lower half okay okay yeah and also look at all these bow skins the vast majority in the negative but there's still a decent amount of them in the positive 
So, yeah, I think that might be one of our newest hunting bow skins that end up in the positive. We shall see. All right, we'll talk more about that Wednesday night, but yeah, you could probably make a move for that now if you really want to. If you like it, by all means, just buy it. Appreciate it. Support the skin creator. Treat yourself. Now we have the cardboard sheet in the door. A bit awkward again. A week where we have two sheet in the doors and one's like super glowy and kind of interesting and the other one is uh, there. <laughs> but, you know, it's goofy. It's silly. It's a silly little gimmick. Cool. But uh, do people care? Uh, well, with the sales at the moment, uh, it's a bit doubtful. So let's just quickly look at the first 24 hours of sales and let's just get, a, you know, a reasonable idea. So you did 3,000 subscribers. Oh, mate, it's going to probably do between six to 7,000 subscribers. Very quick because I just remembered the quarantine tools. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was very straightforward. But yeah, with a sheer lack of sales, what will become of you? Well, I will sit here and say this. We do see the occasional sheet in the door being pumped. If I were to look this up in comparison to all the other sheet metal doors that exist, oh, I've clicked the wrong thing. I am a fool. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, just compare with all the other doors. Uh, just to point out, there's 236 of them. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Lower subscribers. Let's go do that. That is basically right in the middle. And yeah, it could end up going a bit lower where it's you know got more sales but look at all the sheep in the doors here how many of them in the positive not that many it's quite it's quite bad i worry for you uh, yes i do but i will also consider that maybe if you sell ridiculously low it might get pumped but yeah seven thousand subscribers wouldn't be that low so we'll see but yeah you're not abnormal that's a problem so we'll consider how we approach that on wednesday night but I'm not expecting much. And as I said, for all of this year, every sheet with a door isn't holding up very well, is it? Right then, so that was uh, fairly straightforward, wasn't it? Um, I hope you appreciate the video. I hope you like what you see um, uh, with the estimates. Remember, you can always just look in the description and they're all listed there as well. So uh, yeah, fairly straightforward this week. We've had some funny things going on, but just around the corner, potentially, we have September well the you know the september 4 swipe that's nice and all with all the interesting potential content that'll be added but with the second week of september are we going to have complete the sets remember the link to this collection is in the description of this video so go give that a good look and uh start you know praying i guess <laughs> hope that face punch picks the skins that you want most and uh yeah with a very big rust store this week it's you know probably warming up to complete the sets also consider this the likes of the uh cell bolt action rifle and the uh abyss bow they were actually submitted three months ago and six months ago and uh yeah it kind of might be us leaning into complete the sets and most wanted so i hope you're looking forward to it i hope you like what you see and uh yeah and of course twitch drop uh twitch drops and a twitch event in about two weeks time so all of this will most likely be officially revealed with the September blog post next Thursday. And I will be streaming and I will be going through all the details. And by then, we should have all the brand new Twitch drops as well. Sounds good. All good. Thank you very much for watching me today. I greatly appreciate it. Let's just quickly look at the previous week, see how they're currently holding up. I mean, we've been going back and forth so much. Yeah, most of the skins are doing okay at the moment. And then the previous week from here, and then it's a bit different. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it is what it is. So, yeah, have a lovely week. Best of luck to you and your investments. And yeah, I'm done. Just shut up, Hedge. Let's just go.